it's now time to start creating some of our more photorealistic materials. It's going to make our rendering look real nice. And we're going to do that by using Arnold materials. Arnold is the default photorealistic renderer that's built into Maya. It creates photorealistic representations of lighting and material, and you have to use Arnold's own materials to get the best results with that. So that's what we'll do now. We're going to create an Arnold material, and it's going to be for the candlesticks, I think. Before we create a new material then, we need to clear our work area here. What happens is every time you create a new material, it just stacks the nodes up here and never clears it. So it can get confusing quickly. So what we need to do is always clear our workspace before we create a new material. And we do that by clicking on this icon just here, which is a white box with three little blue stars in it. We'll give that a click. And we now have a nice clean workspace again. We now need to go back over to our create panel and we're going to create a material type called an AI standard surface and it's one of the Arnold ones. So if we just click on Arnold here, that will filter so that we're only getting Arnold materials and we can filter further by going into something like shaders and that will only show Arnold shaders. So as I said, in this case, we want AI standard surface. So I'm going to give that a click and you can see that this has a lot more options. Also in our property editor, there are more options for it as well. First thing I want to do with this, as always, is I'm going to call it M underscore brass. And in case you hadn't already figured it out, the M underscore is for material so that I can tell what are materials and what are not materials. One of the good things about these Arnold materials is they come with presets, which are really good starting points for a lot of material types. So I'm going to click on presets here and we get a big long list of different types of presets. In this case, I think I'm going to go for either a brushed metal or a gold. We'll try gold out. So we just need to click on replace and that will replace the current properties with the ones from gold. And instantly we'll get a preview of how that's going to look in our material viewer here. And you can see it looks much nicer than that dull gray we had a second ago. You might now want to make some changes to make it look a little bit more brass like. So I might change the color to be something a little more orangey and maybe a touch darker that was nice and so that's changed the color you can also change things like how rough it is so at the moment it's got a roughness value of 0 0.150 which means it's not very rough you can drag this over to the right and you can see that it starts to blur it gets rougher so i don't want this to be too shiny i'll take a little bit of shine off it something like that just blur it ever so slightly and then before we apply this to our candlesticks, I just want to show you one more thing with the material viewer. So we're currently viewing this in hardware preview, which is happening quite quickly. This is happening in a real time way. But if you want to know exactly how this material looks when it's rendered using Arnold, the photorealistic renderer, we can change the hardware to Arnold. And then what you'll see happen is this. It's now rendering this and it renders out from the center and goes around in spirals and it takes a while and uh, the fan on my PC is really kicked into gear now because this makes your uh, computer do a lot of thinking. But this is the material you're actually creating. And this is what it will look like when we render at the end of the project. The downside to this is that it takes a lot of computation. So if you every time you make a little change, so let's say I take this roughness back down a touch, it has to render again. And if you're on a slow PC, this can get really painful. So it's your choice as to whether or not you use this Arnold preview. But as you're going in for your final materials, you will probably want to. Okay, what I'm going to do now is assign this material to one of my candlesticks. So I'm going to click on the candlestick here to select it. I'll press F just to frame it so I can see what I'm looking at. And then with this selected over here, I'm going to right click on my brass material and choose assign material to selection. And you will now see that that has done something, but it doesn't quite look the way we would expect it to. And I'm just going to apply the same material to this one as well. So that will basically do it for this step. And we've got our candlestick holders looking pretty. In the next step, we're just going to cover how you can duplicate and then make changes to a material. And then we'll have a look at how we start previewing it in this window over here. So that we've got a good idea of how this is starting to come together. So I will see you in the next step. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, 
then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.